here. Here you can almost you can smell the raisin. Du kan lukta hur hur starkt vissa av de här bitarna luktar. Och här under kan man se att det är liksom här är det ganska torrt. Luktar du där den doften? Det luktar mint. Ja, typ. It smells mint. Mint, ja, yeah. mint. Den här biten här luktar på den. Mm. Så denna biten här, den här kommer vi kunna använda fast den där, even though it's raining outside now and it's really really wet. This piece right here, this not her, this is a piece of fat food. Det kallas för, ja, på engelska säger man fat food. Denna här kommer brinna jättebra. Mm -hmm. All right, så denna här ska vi ha med oss. Today I wanted to try out a saw that was sent to me by a, a, a friend named uh, Jan Viban. So this one is for you, my friend. So yeah, here it is. And I told him that I would do a review on it and we, that we would try it out. So I wanted to take the time now when situation, the, when it's, you know, a little bit rough outside. I'm very thankful for this, my friend. I'm really looking forward to, uh, to show it to you. All right, so we're gonna cut off this piece right here. Now the frame saw, you open it up, take away the strings here. So you see that the saw is sort of hidden inside and then you're supposed to flip this inside out like that here. Now you see that the saw is coming out and then the extra piece of wood here. There's a pre-made hole for it there. For it on this other side as well. Right, so now we got it stuck together, and then this is old school mechanics right here. So you just tension the rope here by twisting this part. Twist it a little bit more. Yeah, you see, it's pretty, it's pretty twisted now, so it's pretty tense. But like that, now we got a sturdy saw. So let's cut this piece off and uh, use it for uh, our fire making part here. There we go. Really decent cut, it cuts really straight. The blade is a baco blade. Make great saws as well. Again, everything is really wet. Uh, it's really, really damp outside today. Uh, we managed to find uh, some good pieces of fat wood, so that's going to help a lot, like this part here. But again, uh, we're we're just using every every natural resource that we found around the campsite here. So uh, knowledge this time around, and we'll see how good that goes for us. Play a little snap. Oh. I thought I'll use the uh, box saw to uh, chop up all this wood here so we can use it later for dinner and all that. So far it's really nice to use it. Uh, it's a huge difference when you have a long blade like this and a stable saw at that. The way that it works, how you can fold it down and then just open it up and you get a, a good saw, solid saw like this and it doesn't take up any room in your pack. I mean that's, uh, yeah, that's really unbeatable when you're out like this. Yeah, 
yeah, that's a short view on the frame saw or buck saw. It looks like we've been out for three days. <laughs> we've been out for, uh, I don't know, like three hours maybe. So, yeah. Three yeah. years later. <sighs> In this segment, I wanted to mention one thing. It's Albert's birthday, or it was a couple of weeks ago. So he turned eight. Yay! Woo! So, uh, as you can see, he's obviously in uh, dire need of some uh, some gear. So, and so. here is the knife. And here is the knife. Look, this is uh, my knife. is very cool. It's very cool. Yeah. And. Uh, flashlight so yeah I got him a knife I got him these uh, Fjell 11 pants here I want to talk a little bit about those these pants uh, but he just want to show you the other things that and I here gave is him. the <laughs> flashlight flashlight look here yeah here's really nice way of showing it you want to run and get the fire steel as well uh, the first thing. you can show your gloves too Oh, this is my gloves. All right, go and get the uh, the fire steel. <sighs> yeah, I mean, okay, granted, it is very wet and dirty outside now, mushy all over the place. But yeah, I, I'm, it's pretty impressive still after three hours looking like you, we lived here for five years. It's you want to strike it? Go ahead, strike it. Not in my face, though. <laughs> Take your time. It's not like people are watching anyway. <laughs> and here's the fire steel. Fire steel. The what does that say? String. And here's the string. I think you showed it enough there. So, do you know why I gave these things to you? Mm, it's for the camp. And all this thing. For me. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I gave them a little bit uh, for my own, for my own sake. So yeah, when we go out, you can get dirty. But the fire steel, the knife, and the flashlight, and also a little bit the pants, I gave them to you because I wanted you to be able to survive a night in the woods if you would ever need to do that. So you would have the knowledge and the skill to do it. And this is pretty much the basic kit that you would need. The flashlight is, is a nice extra thing to have, but a knife and uh, a fire steel, you can go very, very far with that. And then yeah, some gloves to keep you warm and protect your hands. So the pants got uh, a lot of pockets and they're obviously made of G1000 so they're pretty durable. If you don't have kids, you, you were a kid once, uh, most likely. Um, so they are, uh, they are very adjustable and that's a nice thing. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but these are pretty much too big for him now. But they're adjustable with uh, buttons down here. Adjusted in a really good fashion down here. And then inside the pants, you got a, a sort of a rubber band so you can uh, tighten them with buttons on the inside as well. So that's a really nice feature. So hopefully he will be able to have these for, I don't know, at least three or four years or something like that. That's what I'm hoping for. The trousers are called the Kids Vida Pada trousers. So be sure to check them out. Well, me now. Remember what we can add? All right, let's do that. Just boiling some water using the traditional way. It's a Y-shaped uh, branch and then another branch holding up the, the pot. Easy does it. Three yeah. years later. 